you doing? <gasps> oh my gosh. She has decided to make herself at home. Come on in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You oh my god, I'm a dog for you. Oh my gosh, there's so much more stuff in here than the last one. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it looks like ADHD. <laughs> I moved into an apartment in Daniel Island, and what makes me the happiest is that I have a room for my children. That's at mommy's house. Oh, it looks so cute. I think Thomas has always doubted me and my ability to take care of myself. And it feels wonderful to show him that like I can do it on my own and I don't need you and I never did. Catherine, what the hell? I got um, my blood taken for like a oh. blood alcohol oh. test or whatever. Taking your blood did that? Yeah, thanks Thomas. <laughs> Um, in our, like, agreement that we signed for the next six months, he has the ability to test me at any time, any date, and I have to do it within 24 hours. It's been a year and a half since I've failed a drug test, but fine. It's about getting my kids back, and if I have to take a test every single day for a year to get more time with my children, I'll do it. How are you? Yeah, I'm supposed to be married right now, and I'm not. I realized we were two different people, and it's heartbreaking. Uh, so what's going on with T-Rev? I'm moving into phase two the next month of our agreement, and the nanny is going to be saying goodbye. Yeah. But that was what we came up with in mediation. That's the only thing he agreed to. What is the advantage of getting rid of her? Because the things that I've experienced dealing with her and my children, so inappropriate, like not wanting to let me hold my son. Not happening. Hey. Hey. I just dropped the kids off at school. Yeah. Kenzie, she wanted to wear a little backpack. Put oh, that she up. did? But there's no place for her to put it. In the cubby? Yeah, so she had to put it up top. Yeah. Anyways, you want some coffee? Yeah, I'd love some. Thanks. Kenzie and Santa are doing great. Close your mouth while you're eating. No laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a new school, a new house, a kid-friendly house. I do miss my downtown compound. I, you know, I loved it, but ultimately, I sold it because uh, the layout was not conducive for raising kids. I bought this calendar, and I think you need to work with it with Kenzie. This is when she goes to Catherine. This is when she's home. Oh, God, how are we going to deal with having to bring someone else in? You know what? It's just going to be one day at a time. Catherine does not like Deidre. And in order to reach an agreement, I have to let her go. And I think it's sad and it's unfortunate. Hello. Ashley, how are you, darling? Oh, I missed you. Yeah. I met this beautiful nurse out in California. I was in this bar, and I looked over, and she was doing I was like, made a beeline there. And we've been together ever since. I thought we could get a workout in a day. I'm already ready. I've got my tennis shoes on. There's one exercise I like that involves cardio. Oh, I know it. So, have you met his girlfriend? Have not met her. He hasn't mentioned that they're together. And I don't like that my three-year-old is the one that told me, Ashley sleeps in a room with daddy. <sighs> yeah, so I found out. I think it's very clear what Ashley's intentions are. She didn't come here for love. I mean, no one buys that shit for a damn second. I mean, Thomas is lucky his new girlfriend's a hospice nurse. That's going to come in handy. <laughs>